the reservoir, but no sign of Scorpion. Better take a closer look. Now, if I was a mercenary dressed like a scorpion, where would I be? Behind you! <laughs> Me, I'd end it now. But Octavius is paying, and he wants to torture you, which I respect. <laughs> Damn it! What did he inject me with? Whoa! What the... Is that... a sea of poison? Can't be! This can't be real. Must be the poison. But I can't take any chances. Gotta get to higher ground, then analyze whatever he injected me with. Should be safe for a minute. We need to analyze the neurotoxin so I can create an antidote. Scorpions made some upgrades. Hallucinogenic neurotoxin. My brain will create nightmares that my body thinks are real. I have to create the antidote fast. First, I need a natural steroid. Extract from an Eclipta Alba plant should do the trick. ESU's greenhouse is nearby. Hope it's in season. Okay, poison bad. Kinda shoulda known that. The Alba should be inside the greenhouse. There it is. Is it real or in my mind? It can be both. Just the hallucinations intensified. You can get through this. Doc, you sound... Like I did before the neural interface affected my mind? My obsessions were always there, but the interface allowed me to fully embrace them. I have to fix this. Fix you! Somehow! Always trying to shoulder the responsibility, even when there's no hope. I can't tell you how many times your unfettered optimism has kept me going when things look bleak. I'll miss being with you. I really. There's the Eclipse doll. Permanent antidote. One of Harry's research stations was developing a synthetic atropine. Gotta get there fast. Giant 
deadly scorpion tails. Lovely. Thanks, Brain. How are you feeling, Spider? Raw panic crawling with your fire. Scorpion? How'd you get this number? Always asking the least interesting questions. It's not how am I calling you, it's am I calling you. Maybe I'm just the fever screams of your dying breed. Real or no, when I cure this poison, I'm coming for you, Mac. <laughs> He's awful, little bug. Have fun chasing pink elephants. Atropine's right there. No. <clears throat> Atropine's gone. Well, not again. You're too late. Just as you were too late to help me. This isn't you, Doc. Oh, but it is me. The Me Polite Society found inconvenient. The parts of myself I suppressed. Help me break those chains! I'm sorry. I'll find a way to help you. I swear! Stop deluding yourself. You never help anyone. for me. Let me try. I want nothing from you. You're a failure at life, love, career. You bring nothing but pain. No, stop. I'm not giving up. Please, just talk to me. I can help you! So you can treat me like all the rest? Containing me? Suffocating me? No. I will let my genius shine on its own. I saw you, Peter, taking notes, stealing ideas, a rat in my own lab. To think I called you a friend. There it is. The atropine. Got the atropine. Now I just need to mix up the antidote. Looks like I'm headed back to the lab. Still with us? And nearly cured. Sorry to bust up your plans. Oh, Webb, don't worry. There's plenty of surprises left for you. We'll be seeing each other again real soon. Shut to mix the antidote. Finally, the real lab. No- <laughs> Just like us, trying to 
steal my genius. Everything that happens now is your fault. I knew you were laughing at me. Thought I forgot about you. Scorpion, are you even real? Hold still, I'll show you. an opening. Another hallucination. At least he had an imaginary glass jaw. Not gonna be that easy. Sure it is. Now I know you're the poison trying to distract me. Bring it on! When he stops, maybe I can one down! You're a loser! All you'll ever be is a loser! I can't let him get to me. Get rid of him. Focus on the job. Got it. So, everyone you ever met suffers. Just trying to hit him isn't working. Nice. A few more left. If I was your uncle, I would have jumped in front of a bullet, too! My inner voice has really developed an attitude. Another one down! Ever notice Mary Jane does a lot better when you're not around? Think about that. I think I'd rather fight the real Scorpion than my subconscious. Jeff Davis died because of you. You destroyed that whole family. I am having a literal guilt to go on for. I need to try to nail him when he stops moving. Oh, that's the last of them. I can barely stand up. There's the equipment I need. Decontamination a little too far. I'd better put some clothes on. Much better. Let's just go ahead and forget that ever happened. Doc's the smartest man I know. And now he might be the most dangerous. So many good memories of working here. <laughs>